all linked down below in the description. I am ready to give Malcolm round two, so I'll catch you guys in the next one. So, when it comes to five or more accessories for the Switch, I think he gave a pretty good listing of them all, at least. And um, a lot of them, I could definitely say, were good investments if you do or do not have a console or plan on purchasing one for someone else or either plan on doing something um, related to, I don't know, um, finding some usefulness out of things that you can have like that. Overall, um, that was a very good and intelling video that told a lot about the console itself and uh, whether or not the accessories were applicable. I definitely like each and every feature that comes with the new uh, switches that were out now. I just wanted to see if you guys liked any of them at all or if you thought that they were the best in regards of usage for the console. So these were just things to look into for future. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Let me know. Give a thumbs up. All right. Thank you guys. PKG Lux is here. PKG Lux is out, baby. Consumer. And it's been a while since we talked about Nintendo Switch accessories. So, of course, with the Switch being one of my favorite systems ever, we got to talk about five must-have accessories for the Switch. Now, first one being this attachable portable charger for the Switch by Antank. Now, this is absolutely awesome because I don't know about you guys, but I travel with my Switch everywhere. So it is nice to be able to be on a plane and have some extra juice without having a cable dangling to oh, an external portable charger. I just attach this guy right to the switch and it's actually really easy to attach it. And all you do is you take your switch. I like lock this controller in, set up. Boom, and it's attached. So if you're playing games that are like really intensive, this thing will more than double your switch's battery life. It has 6,500 milliamp hours of battery. The switch has like 40. 300 so you got a lot more juice here and it's nice because you also have these little latches over here so you can change the position of how you have this when it's on something like a table you can always move it the that's way you want cool. and this is really cool because let's say you're tired of playing with the extra weight you don't want to hold it like this anymore you can always throw this down, detach your Joy-Cons, and then you're playing like this. So for me, this thing is an absolute must, especially if you have a lot of long commutes. And this really isn't that expensive. I believe it's around 37 bucks. Uh, actually, none of the accessories that we're talking about are expensive, so you don't have to worry about your wallet getting killed. Oh, These that's a nugget. Awesome. Okay, so like when you are looking for consoles to purchase, buy, or get anything with, you definitely don't want to spend the same thing you spent on the console. So like, I spent, I, I know it's 300. <clears throat> That's not including to have a protection plan to cover if anything would happen to it. But on top of that, the accessories are going to be probably more than what the console costs. And I expected that case to be probably around 60 or 70 bucks. The fact that it's 30 something, I'm like, hmm, you know, that's not as bad. So, I mean, that might be a good investment to look into. But we're going to check this out and continue going, guys. Things that you can get for a nice price. But there's some other cool stuff. Let's say you don't really like the feel of this. You don't like using the Joy-Cons or anything like that. You can actually get something that changes up the feel of your Switch entirely. So right here, we've got a case from Satisfy. This is like their deluxe case with a bunch of accessories. But the highlight here is yes. this grip. So this is the Satisfy Pro Gaming Grip. You can actually throw this right onto the switch and it changes the ergonomics oh. of the entire device. So Satisfy is saying we don't have the optimal wrist angle when playing on the switch. It's not the most ergonomic. Uh, so they've added on this extra piece over here so that we can play with oh, our wrist at 35 degrees. They say that we're overextending our thumbs when we're reaching for these buttons over here. I'm not gonna lie, I've never really had much of a complaint in terms of the button layouts on these. Uh, but with this, I will say having these extra grips really does add a bit of comfort to the switch that i never experienced before and i also think it's kind of cool how this thing just stands on its own with these little feet over here a better, app, a better banking app is right at your fingertips you can just always stand it maybe if you're playing with a pro controller you want to put this down for a second i don't know but it is kind of cool that it stands maybe if you're watching something there's like youtube on this right there you go. Now you can buy the grip separately, but if you go for the deluxe case, you get this big travel pouch, which is a hard shell case. And inside of it, you get some really cool things that I think are a must have. So first off being these extra thumb grips. I absolutely have to have thumb grips on my Switch. It honestly changes the way 
I enjoy this system. Uh, I don't like the way so that it So I know I'm a tech nerd, shape. but goodness gracious, there's something in there I saw that I really like that I don't know if most of you guys know about, but I'm going to talk about it for just a moment. So there's a light bulb that is magnetic, but it only turns on when the magnetic force to it allows it to levitate. So it's a levitating light bulb that only turns on when it's fully uh, encompassed within the magnetic sphere. I, I, it's in this video. Uh, granted, it's a whole nother video separate to, to this conversation. I just think it's really cool that it has this in all the tech stuff dealing with games. It's like a think bulb, but it's really, really cool. Let's get back to it. To it, that's not super cool to me. Uh, I like the whole concave feeling of these thumb grips. So that more than anything, if you've never played with these kind of thumb grips, I highly, highly recommend it. And you also get slots to hold all of your Switch games. And it even comes with a few cables, which are actually pretty high quality. But this is a nice package. I definitely think you get your money's worth. And being able to play your Switch comfortably, even though it is a bit on the different side, I like. But now let me blow your minds a little bit. Right position is cool and all, but this is something that the Switch Don't should have fair. had from the beginning. Here is this little adapter from HomeSpot that gives you access to Bluetooth, guys. So this little adapter, okay. you can just plug right into it. With this little add-on, you get the ability to use Bluetooth headphones with your Switch. So with this on, you can throw on some Bluetooth headphones like these, use them, Finally, listen to music on your Switch without needing to use a cable. Uh, that's one of the things I hated the most, especially when taking planes. I hated the fact that I needed to have a cable dangling and plugged into this guy because I'd have to use a different pair of headphones that aren't my Bluetooth headphones or remember the cable from my Bluetooth headphones just so that I could listen to them and not bother the people sitting next to me. Now, this is dope because you can use any Bluetooth headphones you want, even AirPods. For all you folks out there using AirPods, I can't say broke boys anymore because people don't get the internet joke, but it's fine. For those of you who have AirPods, you can use them here. Oh, this is just, it's just nice, guys. It's nice to be able to use Bluetooth headphones with this. And you might notice that there are two buttons here, one for player one, obviously, and you can even add a second player so that you both can share the audio from the Switch cool. with two different Bluetooth headphones. <laughs> so I think that's really cool if you're maybe on the plane, like I said, you're sharing your Switch, one person has one Joy-Con, you've got the other, and you're able to both hear what's going on in the game. Now I have another version of these Bluetooth adapter. This one is from Ghoul Kit or Ghoulie Kit. This is from HomeSpot. I like this one a lot because it's so flush within the system. It doesn't take up a lot of space. But this one is cool because it does something that this one doesn't. This guy also has a USB-C port at the bottom. So when you're playing with your Switch, you're using it to listen to music or whatever, you can also charge it at the same time. This one essentially blocks your charging port. This one makes sure that it's still there. And this thing also comes with a few other accessories. If you don't like it dangling from the bottom here, you can just pop this off, throw this Essential little attachment and key on. key information to know. So your battery life for your Switch is not gonna last forever. That's one thing I do know. And so when he said the reason that he brought the other Bluetooth adapter was for the charger piece, now it makes sense on why the other one was a dual receptor because you can't charge it. So the best time to ever play that switch is on the plane and when you're about to get off the plane, you probably need to put it up because it's gonna be dead. And that won't have much longevity with sound if you both aren't able to play it, but it's better for a one person than a two. But I did think both of them were cool. Granted, they had both. Um, one was better than the other, obviously, because of a charge. If I don't drop it, and then... If I don't drop it, and then... You can yep. throw this thing on into the back. <laughs> so you still have access to that Bluetooth, but now it's hidden a lot better. But what you give up with this guy is the fact that you can't use it with a second player. But the choice is yours, guys. But I think both of these options are really solid. And something else that I use a lot every day, really, and it's always in my gadget backpack, are these cases from, I've said it on this channel before, this is a really hard name to say, <laughs> Libreware, whatever. Uh, but this is the protective case that I use for my Switch personally all the time. But this is pretty much what you'd expect. It's a hard shell case, but it does have a special feature. You guys can see down here, 
This has an LED indicator for the portable charger that's mm. built right into it. So whenever I'm using my switch, mm. or whenever I'm done using my switch, I'll put it in this guy, strap it up, make sure it doesn't go anywhere, and then I'll pull out this little USB cable, and then with this, I can charge my device pretty seamlessly once I plug it in. Now, this is the first case that I got, and when I went back on Amazon to see if there's another one, it looks like they updated it. Um, this one is a bit bigger, but it also has a bigger battery. This one right here has about 8,000 milliamp hours, and this one has 10,000 milliamp hours. So this is gonna give you a ton of juice for your Switch. You absolutely can't go wrong with it. And this one also has an interesting feature in that it allows you to prop up your Switch just like this. So let me show you guys what that looks like. Now this is not a feature that I honestly would use that much, but it's there if you want. And then you can turn on the Switch and kind of just play with your Joy-Cons. I mean, it's cool, unnecessary really, but you can't be right. mad at extra features, right? But yeah, the choice is yours. If you want to go with a bigger battery, this newer one is pretty cool with 10,000 milliamp hours. But I personally like the older one a bit because it's smaller. It doesn't take up as much space in my gadget backpack, which I appreciate mm. since I got to put a bunch of other stuff in there. Now, the last thing I will say, guys, that you got to have if you're one of the folks who plays Super Smash Brothers, you gotta have gotta get you one, one of these, these guys, these Nintendo uh, GameCube controllers right here. This will change your life. <laughs> I think that this can get its own separate section in this video because there are so many Smash Bros players. It is absolutely worth it. If I wanna give Malcolm some smoke and, and kick his butt, you no, know, Malcolm, how many wins do you have? Let me show you guys. Uh, I didn't mean to do this to you in, in public, man, on YouTube. I don't mean to do this, but I gotta show them how good the controller is. Oh, I got a special and wasted it? All right. But you got out of there, though. But you got out of there, though. Oh! Oh, let's go! Oh! comes to five or more accessories for the Switch, I think he gave a pretty good listing of them all, at least. And um, a lot of them I could definitely say were good investments if you do or do not have a console or plan on purchasing one for someone else or either plan on doing something um, related to, I don't know, um, finding some usefulness out of things that you can have like that. Overall, um, that was a very good and intelling video that told a lot about the console itself and uh, whether or not the accessories were applicable. I definitely like each and every feature that comes with the new uh, switches that were out now. I just wanted to see if you guys liked any of them at all or if you thought that they were the best in regards of usage for the console. So these were just things to look into for future. Hopefully you guys liked the video. Let me know. Give a thumbs up. All right. Thank you guys. PKG Lux is here. PKG Lux is out, baby.